What's up everyone, MK Slot here, and today I'm playing Port of Call. Now I started this Let's Play just like any other one, and within a couple minutes of playing the game, I realized it's a very story driven game. Um, and I felt my usual Let's Play antics, uh, my crude, crude humor and jokes really wouldn't suit this game. So I decided I'm going to try something a little bit different, uh, I'm not sure how it's going to go over, but uh, it should be fun, it should be interesting. So uh, check it out, thanks. Oi, you there. You're late. Late? Late for what? I think you know perfectly well why you're here. On board with you. I'll see you in the bridge. Come on. Come on now. Get. Alright, to business. I assume you know how to do your job. Get to it then. I'm the captain on this here hunk of scrap, and I'll have no more dilly dallying. What are you talking about? Great, they sent me another idiot. I haven't the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. I have a ship to run. I got to start you off with a simple task though. If that's not too hard for your wee little brain. There's a little girl in the first cabin on the left. Get her ticket. Little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without squealing like a babe. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of you, yeah? <laughs> Don't eat me. Oh, who are you? The fairy man sent me. The boogeyman sent you? Are you going to eat me? I'm not going to eat you. I'm here for your ticket, kid. I'm not a kid. I hate it when Marcus calls me that. 
I'm almost six and a half. Thank you. Are you a scary friend of the boogeyman? He's a grouch, but he doesn't look like a monster. He stomps around and makes weird noises. That's scary. And weird. Speaking of weird, why are you here by yourself? I'm not sure. Thinking about it makes me feel funny. Oh, I was playing with Ted's. Who is Ted's? Ted's is the bestest bear in the world. He's my best friend. Last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Could you find Ted's? There's something creepy about this chest. This handwriting is strangely familiar. <laughs> oh, Ted's! I missed you so much. Last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's were playing together while Mom and Dad were gone. Who is Marcus? Marcus is my big brother. He's nice and funny and silly, and a dork. We were playing hide and seek when... What happened? The three of us were playing hide and seek. Marcus, Ted's, and me. Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea for a hiding spot, so I listened to him. Where did you hide? We went to go hide with the rest of Ted's friends in the toy chest. I climbed in, but the lid fell down, and it got dark. I got scared. The wooden lid was too heavy. I couldn't lift it off. What happened next? I called for Marcus as loud as I could, but he didn't come. It was so dark, and I couldn't breathe. <laughs> and then it hurt. <laughs> Why didn't Marcus find me? I'm sure he looked for you. Yeah, he always liked being Seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. Do you think he wanted to find me? I think Marcus wanted to find you. He seems like a good kid. Just like you. <laughs> I think you're right. I remember hearing him call for me. I hope I see his dorky face again someday.
Mm-hmm. You got your first ticket. I guess you're not completely inept. The girl, Lily, made it sound like she was dead. And? What of it? Ah, uh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her. See here, loads of kids, often every day. And you don't give a rat's arse about any of them. Why would she be any different? Who was she? Do I look like I care? It doesn't matter. She's dead. So is most of everyone on this wreck. Am I supposed to have a bleeding heart? Every time some kid shows up here with a sob story? Bah! Anyway, I got another job for you now, laddie. Use the lift at the end of the hallway. And go talk to the drunkard in the bar. I can't understand a thing that fat man says. I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. <laughs>